This video will provide a step-by-step -step guide on how to download and install Weblink Desktop, create a Weblink account, and how to flash your Maestro module on a Windows-based PC computer. To begin, go to www.idatalinkmaestro.com and click the Flash Your Module button in the upper right-hand corner. A window will appear and display Opening Weblink Desktop to Flash Your Module. Since Weblink Desktop has not been installed, click the link to get it now. A new page will display and on the right-hand side you will see options for downloading Weblink Desktop for your operating system. Click the Download button located next to the Window OS. Once the download is complete, open the executable file from the lower left-hand corner of your browser or from the Downloads folder on your computer. A window will now appear requesting the app make changes to your device. Click Yes. A second window will appear asking you to agree to our end user agreement. Next you will see the Weblink driver installation. Leave everything selected and click Next. You will now be prompted to select the location where you want the Weblink program installed. If you wish to change the location, do it now, otherwise click Next. You will see a progress bar followed by a window that says Welcome to the Device Driver Installation Wizard. Click Next. Once the installation is complete, click Finish. Locate the Weblink application on your desktop. If you did not choose to create a desktop icon, then locate it from the search bar by typing in Weblink. Once opened, you will see an option for login credentials. You must create a Weblink account before you can flash your device. If you do not have a Weblink account, click the link to sign up now. The Demo Mode button at the bottom of the page will not allow you to flash your device. This is only a demonstration of how Weblink Desktop works. You can complete a test run of the flashing process, but it will not flash a connected module. After selecting the Sign Up link, a new window will appear. Enter your information into all of the available fields. When finished, click Sign Up. An email will now be sent to the address that you have entered. You must verify your account before you can log in. Using your computer or a mobile device, open your email and locate the message from Weblink titled Activate Your Account. If you do not see the email from Weblink, be sure to check your spam folder as it may have been sent there. Open the message and you will see a box that says Confirm My Email. Click this to complete your Weblink account activation. A new window will open and you will see a message that says your account is now active. Return to the Weblink desktop application and enter your credentials to log in. Once you are logged into your Weblink account, connect the Maestro A to B to your computer using the provided USB-C cable. Next, select the Flash Maestro button on the home screen. After the device has been detected, you will see the model number of the connected module as well as the serial number. Scroll to the bottom of the page where it says Embedded Device. This is the firmware for the built-in Bluetooth. To make sure the BLE is up to date, click Reflash Embedded Device. Once the update is complete, click the Redetect button in the lower right hand corner. To begin flashing the module, select Flash by Vehicle. Start by entering the year, make, and model of your vehicle. Next, identify the factory radio in your vehicle. In some vehicles, there may be more than one option. Make sure the selected image matches the vehicle's radio. Next, choose the amplifier or DSP you are installing. If you are using a Maestro AR compatible product, you will need to select the brand and model number followed by the serial number. If you are using the Maestro A to B in universal mode, select All. In universal mode, the Maestro A to B can be connected to any amplifier or DSP that has RCA inputs or a single Toslink input. Next, select the recommended firmware version that is displayed. You will now see the required T-harness needed for the installation. In this step, you can reassign the factory tone controls and system controls to operate certain functions of the Maestro A to B. For example, 
The bass control on the factory radio can be reassigned to control the subwoofer volume. This means instead of controlling the bass level to all the speakers, only the subwoofer volume will be affected when the bass controls are adjusted. These adjustments will be set by default to the factory tone controls. You can now review the details of your programming. If you wish to make any changes, you can jump to any of the steps from this screen. If no changes are required, click the flash button to download the firmware to the Maestro module. Once flashing is complete, disconnect the module from your computer. Be sure to download the installation guide for your vehicle. The installation guide may have more than one vehicle associated to the PDF. You can quickly navigate to your vehicle by choosing it from the bookmark tab in your PDF application. If you did not download the installation guide before closing WebLink Desktop, you can download it from our website. Click the menu button in the upper right hand corner and choose Guides under the Support section. Choose Amplifier Replacement and enter Year, Make, Model, and the Trim of the Vehicle. Then select the amplifier type you are installing. Once the information has been entered, you will see your guide available for download. Also, don't forget to download and print the wallet card, which is a visual guide to your new tone control configuration.